Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm glad you're still with us on this next tutorial because this is where it starts getting fun. We're going to dive into the variables and the naming here, and then we'll get into the data types next, which definitely will help the understanding of what we're doing so far. So uh, go ahead and write int for the integer data type, and uh, the next part's what we're going to be going in a little bit more to is the variables. So in the previous tutorials, we used Jedi Master as the variable name. Now I quickly want to go over um, some of the standards as far as uh, naming your variables, what you can and can't do so you guys don't make mistakes early on in your programs. But uh, I guess first let's start with variable names. Um, essentially they hold a value. So as you saw in the previous tutorial we assigned or we declared our variable and then we assigned it a value. Um, so here's a little bit different than what we did in the previous tutorial but you can declare your variable and assign its value in the same line so just to show you a little bit of variation of how to do things um, so you can either assign it a value and it holds that value under the variable name or you could uh, possibly have like a computation adding other variables together and uh, or even results of a yeah, computation of some sort so I'll, I'll go into examples as we move through these tutorials but uh, back to the naming so every variable has to start with either a letter a through z or an underscore so we'll just go a through z or an underscore so it has to start with that so basically what you can't do is have a variable that has maybe a four to begin your variable name and then you simply type something you know four four no you can't do that it's gotta be four um, four whatever so it just basically has to start with a letter or an underscore and then the, we'll get into the second part here now just to note you could be a capital A or a lowercase a it, there's no restrictions as far as that goes now uh, and then it can be followed by there's there's a few stipulations here it can be followed by any combinations of letters either upper or lowercase um, an underscore or even numbers in this case so as long as you have one letter in there it can be followed by whatever you want after that as long as it's zero to nine so let me go through a few names that would work and then we'll go through also a few names that wouldn't work as you guys are developing your variable names so we could have like a a star we could have a Jedi cross we could have a lightsaber uh, we could have late, like L8, um, and so on and so forth. You could have stuff like that. You could have light, underscore, saber. So those are all valid variable names based on the rules that they have within the C programming language. A few that you couldn't do um, would be like eight sabers uh, because it has the number in front. Another one that you couldn't do would be like uh, light saber with a space so the C language doesn't like the space within there and uh, we'll do two more here maybe like star ampersand or dollar sign wars and basically the dollar sign is is not a valid character so there's few few nuances that you just gotta keep a, keep yourself aware of and maybe maybe another one would be like int you can't have int int because that's already it's already a reserved word within the C programming language. So there's a few naming conventions as you guys are are establishing variables in the future tutorials with me. So I'm going to delete those and we are going to continue on to the next tutorial guys learning about some of the data types and uh, again associating those with variables. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.